I'm Alan Galbraith with the Concord de Limones. We pulled this 1977 AMC Pacer out of the collection of the California Automobile Museum. Got it running and driving for the first time in 20 years. Had a couple problems with the brakes and the radiator and thought we were good to go. Took it out on a rally only to have the transmission crap out on us. Today we're going to get it on a flatbed, take it down to the transmission shop so we can get this car on the road again. Are you ready to see if there's any metal in it? So we got the car unloaded and we're here with uh, Tom Paget, who owns the House of Automatic Transmissions. How are you doing today, Tom? I'm doing great, especially now that this is here. <laughs> yeah, well, so it needs a little bit of work. Um, we, uh, we lost the transmission on a rally. Um, hopefully we can uh, get it out and get it rebuilt. Not a problem. That's what we do. We've been doing this since 1968, long before this car was ever made. Well, if you have any transmission needs, please come down to House of Automatic Transmissions. Uh, they are a good supporter of what we're doing, a supporter of the museum, and uh, you should support them with your business. Um, what do you say we get this uh, car up on the rack and get it going? Absolutely. Are you ready to see if there's any metal in it? metal material, maybe clutch, could also be torque or also have gone out, because that silver is another good sign of that, may be caused by the torque converter also failing. Let's see. We'll take the valve body off and then we'll get into the pump. We'll start taking things slowly one by one and then we'll start taking it apart and see what actually failed and if there's any of the other damage that we need to be aware of. Uh -huh. The filter was trying to suck up the oil and it couldn't. And it's going to just kind of suck the, the 
the filter, or the pump was trying to suck up the oil. They couldn't, it just sucked in the filter because of the debris here and then yeah, there. You see, you don't see any indentations where the material had gotten sucked in. Underneath the material, there's a perforated uh, metal backing. And then the, the old filter was being sucked into those, those holes or perforations in the metal backing. And so you, and I, you can see the difference between the two. And then there, here we've got the clutches, clutch plates, band, Contra support bushings, seals, all the gaskets and rubber. And the most important part that doesn't Contra come in that, that, the box is the knowledge and understanding of how to put them all in the parts, all in Contra the transmission. <laughs> so there was more of the material that clogged up and got sucked in. You can see it all on here on the valve body where the filter was sitting on there. And then I just took off all the bolts here that hold the valve body on. And it just literally just pulled off. Pulled. Got the parking ball. We got the spring here. Piston. Sometimes there's a spring back there, and not this time. That looks fine, that looks fine. Usually sometimes we find the, the band broken or the linkage broken or this band broken somewhere sometimes that will happen as well stuff inside the transmission there. See, this is the one that probably did sound good when I was air checking it. We'll grab. So this is what your clutches look like. They're not completely bad, but see how this one's brown and then the other ones are black. Those are signs of it starting to go out there with it getting hot. And then we'll take this one out and this is the one. This one, this one operates all forward gears. This one operates just third gear in reverse. Operates second gear. And you can see See how the, the material, the center part of the band is black and the outer edges are brown. The black part indicates it was slipping. So here, here's the clutches. <laughs> and that indicates the slipping really bad because yeah. there's nothing left. Yeah, there's nothing literally. That's, that's your clutch and it's, and it's literally bowed. You can, you can flex it, it's bowed out. And you can see the lining on that clutch. You can see the lining is missing. It's worn right off and that's what the debris is that you saw in the pan and in the filter. Yeah, that's... Well, that explains it. Yeah, that's, that explains that's it. it. <laughs> but that, that's not uncommon, considering the mileage yeah. and uh, age and whatever. The transmission came out pretty easy. It came apart pretty easy, and what's wrong with it is very evident. So we're going to uh, replace uh, all new parts in this, get it cleaned up, and get it back in. back 
back at House of Automatic Transmissions. The case has been all cleaned up, all the parts have been cleaned up and laid out, and we're going to put it to back together today. We're going to assemble the clutch drums. We're going to put the rubber seals on the pistons for the clutch drums, and we're going to put the pistons inside the clutch drums, the return springs, and we're going to replace all the clutches, and then test each clutch drum for the clearance, clutch, appropriate clutch clearance, and then what we're going to do is we will reassemble the oil pump for the transmission and then put everything inside the case and button it all up. wondered about these things. I wondered how did somebody, an engineer, come up with that? And I always wondered, did they get him from an institution or did he end up in an institution after he came up with this idea? Basically, we got this already built and in the process of going to be putting it back in and then we're going to be filling her up and then uh, test driving and make sure that where everything works and then uh, so that way the patient can get back on the road. The shifts actually feel to make sure there's no slip or slide or anything like that. And then paying attention to when, uh, about what speeds they shift at to make sure that it's not shifting too early or too late. So far, both of those were fine. And we'll try passing gear. Yep, passing gear works fine. So we'll just drive it through the neighborhoods here and go through several shift patterns, stop and go. So it's back in, it's buttoned up, it's road tested, and you've checked it. We're good Absolutely. to go? I think we're good to go. We're gonna get the car back to the museum, we're gonna get it parked up on display, and then I'm gonna search eBay Motors for more hubcaps, then we'll be ready to take this out to events. <laughs> <laughs>